Okay, I am starting this new piece that I found. Um, I have given it a good scuff sanding. And so now I've got this old tablecloth on the floor. Um, I'm going to use a lighter color um, on this piece. And I thought I'd kind of do it here on YouTube and show you a little bit about the process. So this color is called Oy, I wanna make sure, yes, Oyster. <laughs> it's kind of a, it looks really gray here, but it's not really a gray, um, it's not really gray once it goes on. It's kind of a, just like a creamier white, which I love. Instead of a stark white, <clears throat> So I have, I'm gonna use the rest of this can and then um, I am going to, then I have another can. So I have said this a million times if you've seen any of my videos for flipping furniture um, or painting furniture, invest in some good brushes. These are my favorite. Um, also use whatever paint you have in your paint can, especially if, or in your lid, in the lid of your paint can or jar, whatever. Um, especially if it's a new, new one and you have shaken up the paint, um, because there's so much paint that gets, that is inside that lid. I have done full projects, like smaller projects that I'm painting, um, with just the lid paint in the lid itself. Now... Normally, um, I would be take the drawers out, but you don't have to. And this piece is a very um, straight piece, if that makes sense. It's very, there's not a lot of curves and there's not a lot of like indentations. So this one, I'm going to leave the drawers in. If there are a lot of like curves and indentations and things like that on a dresser, I like to remove the drawers just so that I can make sure to get in all those crevices. But this one isn't like that, which I love about it. Um, I love just kind of a simple straight dresser. Um, and then as you can see, let me see if I can, uh, the legs, I have sanded them down. I'm going to just stain those. Just these front legs that have all these curves and amazing detail, I am going to just stain them and the rest of the piece is going to be painted. Okay, and usually when I am painting by hand and I wanna get rid of brush strokes, um, I use a continuous spray bottle, but you do not need to use that with this paint. It just, the consistency, um, since it's got everything in it, uh, you, you, you don't need to use the continuous spray bottle with this. It's just it's just a smooth paint, three in one paint that it's just amazing. <clears throat> I absolutely love it. This is actually this line of paint, which I don't know um, why I didn't mention this first because it's it has just been my absolute favorite. It is a three in one paint, and that means you guys. It has the primer, the paint, and the top coat in one. This one can is all I have to worry about. I don't have to get three cans out, a primer, a top coat, the paint color. Nope, it's all in this one can. It has changed my project time and cut it down by more than half. It's, it's just been a game changer. So I would definitely recommend this paint to people that have been flipping furniture or painting furniture for years and especially for those who um, are just starting out because you don't have to worry about all those different products and having to get another brush or getting another roller or cleaning out the sprayer and then putting another product in it. It's just one product and you're done. The colors are amazing. The application, the paint, it goes on well. Um, I have tried many paint lines over the years. I've been doing this for over 20 years. So I have gone through and tried a ton of paint. So I know good paint when I'm using it. And this line of paint, I honestly, in the last, oh, I want to say in the last year of painting, I, this is what I grab all the time. 
this line of paint. Unless there's a specific color, like if there was a certain color I wanted and it wasn't in this line, then obviously I'd go with their other line of paint, which I love too. I love that. But having something where it's got three in one, it's got it all in one, <laughs> it's like a no brainer for me. It's just, it's just smart. So um, it just cuts down my project time. And this color is so pretty. Like I said, it is not a stark white. It does have a, it does have gray in it, but to me, it's more of like a grayish color where it's not like a stark gray. It's got some, got some warmer tones in it, um, but it's just pretty. I just, I am such a, a fan of kind of the grayish colors or beige, um, warmer whites, not necessarily uh, like the stark whites. I just, I don't know. There's something about it. I just think that it's, I don't think I have you guys on there. I just think it's super pretty and I just, I just prefer it. I will be selling this piece once I get it done. Um, and neutral pieces usually sell faster than um, other colors. So, and when you can highlight, I love the mix of wood colors and paint together. So when I find pieces like this that have the legs and they're easy to sand down, where I can paint them and just like highlight them against the rest of the, like the paint color. It's a, it's a win-win. It's really, really, it's a pretty combination. Okay, I've got one coat of the paint on. So now I'm gonna just, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna use this gel stain on this leg here. Another product I absolutely love. This is in the color Walnut. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna apply it with just an, an old rag here. I did not have my camera turned the right way. <laughs> Now it is, so I am sorry about that. So one little tip I want to share here is that when you're doing these legs like this, um, especially if you're gonna stain them dark again, uh, you don't have to worry about getting, you can see here in every little crevice to, to um, when you're doing the sanding, your dark stain is gonna, especially this stuff, this stuff covers it. it it's gonna cover it, so, um, don't stress out about that. Uh, if you can get the gist of the, the wood stained, um, and then once you put this stuff on, it's just, it's gonna cover all that. Look. <laughs> this is honestly, when I find these pieces like this that have the legs like this, it's one of my favorite things because I just know how amazing they're gonna look. Um, to get closer up here, you can use like an old paintbrush, a little paintbrush, um, an inexpensive one, obviously, because this is stuff is not going to clean out of the brush. So I just, if I find, always look in your craft section at your thrift stores because I find a lot of brand new, you know, like even a kid's uh, a paintbrush type of thing. I always find uh, products to pick, pick up and use on projects in that craft area. So do not pass up that little area. We have found um, our daughter, Gabrielle, she's a huge um, creative kid and loves um, to create too. But 
Uh, so I've saved a lot of money on supplies for her alone in that area. But for things like, you know, paint brushes that I don't really want to keep or I'm just going to kind of ruin with stain or those kinds of things, I have found some great, great options at the thrift store. But look at the difference. It's so pretty. And this is only one coat of paint. So I will get another coat of paint on here. And it's just going to look amazing. I'm going to get um, kind of a... I might be able to do it with this. I don't know if I cut this. It's where I used the, oh, the rag. You just need a steady hand too. <laughs> and then that will work. There we go, we got it all done. And it looks amazing. You can't tell that I didn't get every little nook and cranny in there. It looks Okay, on this side of the dresser, um, down here, some of the veneer was missing. And it's kind of, this isn't, us doesn't usually happen. But um, we were able to sand it down and it's pretty flush. But I'm going to try this new quick wood. Um, product. I've never tried this before. I'm just trying something new to see uh, if I like it compared to what I normally would uh, use for uh, veneer like that. But yeah, I was really amazed that it was able to. So it comes like this and it's like a clay and they tell you to um, wear gloves. So it says just to get off the amount you need. So I just kind of, oh my gosh, am I even in here? So I just opened this up and then I'm just gonna, I don't need a ton. So I am just gonna kinda grab that and then I'm gonna put it back in this container. Um, anybody else notorious for, oh, here it is. <laughs> Losing like these little things when you're working with them, it's kinda like, Okay, so I am just supposed to rub this in my fingers, kind of play with it like clay until it's all a same color, which it is now. And then you kind of, um, let me just put on this other glove. I didn't think I would really need them both because there's not a ton I need to do here. And then you kind of push them in the area that you need it. And then it hardens like the wood and then you can paint over sand it and then paint over it so i'm just kind of pushing it in there um these gloves are not very helpful i really kind of want to take them off and while it's really easy to use it um is pushing right in there and like i said some of this i don't need to it's flush so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna try and cover it some of these areas here and so I'm just going to put these on um can you see that I'm not really being super like careful or I'm just kind of globbing it on there and then I will wait till this fully dries and then I will sand it and then I should be able to paint it very easy to use. This is literally my first time I've ever used this. And actually it worked really well. So we'll see here. Um, I will probably let it sit overnight probably and then let it harden, sand it, just a little hand sanding, and then I'll be able to paint it. Okay, so you definitely, like I said, this is my first time using this. You definitely want to use the less amount of the quick wood that you can use, the better. Um, just because you guys, this gets really, I mean, it's it fills it really well, but it's like hard, you know, it's not just like a, like it. it's just, it's really, it's an amazing product. It really filled in all those areas, but if you get too much on there, um, it's just more sanding you have to do. So I have a medium grit sandpaper here. And it's just going to take a little more time. If I were to use this again, I definitely would go light-handed on it. I wouldn't overlap at all. I would literally just put a thin layer in where I need to cover. 
um, just to make the sanding part less work. I'm going to sand this down flush and then I can uh, put my first coat and second coat on this area of okay. the dresser. So I was doing the hand, sorry, I was doing the hand sanding on this. And just so you know, if you ever, I would highly, I highly recommend this stuff. It really filled everything in here and it dries rock solid hard. Like it's like a piece of this dresser now. And I was showing you how I was hand sanding it and that definitely got, got off some, but since I did it heavy handed, I had to get the, uh, I got my, um, orbital sander out. And so that's how I finished the sanding. So just know that. You want to just fill the areas where it needs to be filled. Um, and then you may have to use kind of a, depending on how much you have, um, kind of, a, you know, like a, a stronger sander than just hand sanding. And that's okay. I mean, it totally worked. Um, but so now I'm going to have to put a couple of coats of paint on this. So I'll let it dry. And then I'm almost, I'm almost done with this makeover. And for the hardware on this one, I just wanted to use wood knobs. Um, I picked them up at Restore. I just have a big stash of them, so I wanted to use them. Anytime you're using wood knobs, especially raw wood knobs like this, always give them a good sanding before you stain or paint them. I love this gel stain. It looks like it's going on super dark, but once you put it on and then kind of wipe it away, it just leaves this beautiful color. It comes in tons of colors, but I really love this color. And here she is, all complete. Um, now I just need to stage her, take photos, final photos, and all of that. I will have everything that I used on this maker, makeover linked on the blog post that I will link inside this um, in the description. So make sure, sure to check that out. I used the new wood filler on the side. I really liked that, but it's you want to do it, like I said, you know, light-handed. I love the gel stain. I used it on the front legs and the wood knobs, um, and then the paint. I'm just, I'm, I'm loving this all-in-one paint. It's got the primer, the paint, and the top coat all in it, and so it's just cut down my my project's time by more than half, so I'm, I just love it, uh, and this uh, color oyster is such a pretty color, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or um, have any furniture flipping questions, business questions about um, a furniture flipping business or the makeover itself, please let me know.